Well, John Stewart made his return to the Daily Show last night, and he had a message for the president. Allow me to present to you a one-man show <laughs> about what Joe Biden's advisors were doing when he turned around and went back to the podium. The show is called No! Do not go back! <laughs> Please, but he went back. That Biden was referring to Sisi, the president of Egypt, not Mexico. <laughs> Unless it was even worse than that, and he thinks the president of Mexico is named C. C. Oh, no. Our Chico, Tommy Laren joins us now. Tommy, putting uh -huh. politics aside for a moment, that just looks right. John Stewart on John the Daily Show. Ivy. Now, getting back to politics, he's right, isn't he? He's right, and could this possibly be the return of late-night television? Could it possibly be that comedians and hosts are actually willing to take a shot at the current president, as many other late-night hosts used to do before they decided they wanted to be in the mainstream media DNC cult? You know, I'm happy to see it. He obviously took several shots at Donald Trump as well. But I think what you're going to start seeing here is more members of the media, more members of comedy, actually start taking Joe to task, because I think that the entire establishment that includes the media, that includes comedians, that includes pop culture, they don't want Joe. Eighty-six percent of Americans think he's too old. So I think that they've finally given them permission to go after the big guy. So I think this is just going to be the start. More to come. Well, Tommy, there may be even more trouble in paradise, because Kamala Harris was asked if she's ready to be president. She told The Wall Street Journal, quote, I am ready to serve. There is no question about that. A, a, tip, a typical response from a vice president, Tommy, is the president of the United States is the commander in chief and the, bre the best person to lead our country right now. Read the tea leaves here. What did she mean by this? Well, she's been asked about this several times, and people have very little confidence that she actually is ready to take the lead and take the helm. And so her saying that she's ready to go was really convincing and reassuring to no one. I don't think she's even reassured by what she said. But I'll tell you guys, and Carly, we talked about this last week on Outnumber. The thing that bothers me most about Kamala Harris is she says she's ready to lead, but every time she gives a speech, she just repeats herself. It's a word salad of saying a lot of words without any substance. So if she's ready to lead, she should take her job more seriously. If she can't do the vice presidency, she certainly can't be the president. Joe can't either. So not a lot of reassurance coming out of the Biden-Harris camp. She went on to say, anyone who watched her in her current role as vice president mm -hmm. walks away fully aware of her capacity to lead. That's not what That's I what got out of the past herself, oh three boy. years. Yeah. Unreal. Uh, a recent poll also shows that only 28 percent of registered voters have a positive feeling towards Kamala Harris. That's that's not a good number. That John Stewart number, for VP. I think that's the takeaway. Uh, Tommy Laren, thank you very much. Fox you, and so Friends much. begins right now. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.